Hi everyone, this is Jose Valentino. In this video, I want to briefly talk about what it takes to be a multifaceted musician. One particular concept that is just going to be discussed is the art of listening. Okay? And what to listen for. Specifically, musical components. What do I mean by that? I mean, as opposed to listening to music for the sake of enjoyment or trying to learn the notes that you're transcribing, how about focusing on the articulations, on the dynamics, and do that based on the style. Study how different genres of music actually approach the eighth note, the sixteenth note. Let's do some demonstrations, okay? As I'm studying uh, Latin music, one thing I notice is the way the sixteenth notes are approached and where the accents are placed. And then I can translate that on my saxophone. So, okay, check it out. Now, the swing is, is a triplet feel, right? You see what I'm saying? So, rather than focusing on the notes and things like that, because you can miss it. You can play it like this. And you won't capture the essence, okay? Also, approach the dynamics, right? What if it's a mellow swing? But you're getting the idea, okay? How about funk? It's more on top of the beat. Right? And then translate that on saxophone. See what I'm saying? All right, cool. How about one more? Let's talk about uh, the dynamics, uh, maybe playing a ballad. One way to approach it is not just thinking about what kind of scales you can play in a harmonic setting, rather using the dynamics that are reflective of a human voice, which is a wide dynamic range, and be patient about it. <laughs> The vibrato, think about that. What's the tempo of the vibrato? And also the dynamics. So, let's recap. As you start thinking about the musical components in music as opposed to just the notes and the harmony, this could be a great way to help you embark in the journey of becoming a more multifaceted musician. I'm Jose Valentino, thank you guys so much, and I hope to see you soon.